Hi, so since its recent update, the Mutable Instruments Plats plays DX7 patches, which is just awesome. I played around with it a little bit, put together some patches, and I will play them for you at the end of this video, but I thought before I get to that, I'll go through what the different controls for the DX7 models on the Plats do. So let's start with the simplest one, which is the harmonics knob up here, which is there for you to select your preset. There's uh, 16 presets per model, and there's three models, uh, number three and four and five of the orange models. Then this guy increases or decreases the level of the modulator or modulators. And you can easily hear when you turn it all the way to the right, this is this typical kind of distorted FM sound. The attenuator down here does the same thing for control voltage uh, that you plug into its CV input. Then lastly, the morph knob adjusts the length of the envelope from short to long. Um, its length depends on the preset. There's some presets with very long release times. And some with uh, shorter ones. The model has two voices which are triggered alternately, which means we can actually kind of play two notes at the same time. Sometimes pitches are a bit off. I couldn't quite figure out why that is happening. I'm guessing it has something to do with the next note running into the modulation envelope of the one before. That kind of thing. But anyway, with the shorter envelopes, that should be... Uh, an issue. And then there's uh, the level CV input, which is routed to the velocity of the preset. So it responds to whatever that is set to. If there is nothing plugged into the trig input, there's just a constant drone playing. In this mode, the timbre knob still does the same thing. Um, it increases the level of the modulators and the morph knob scans through the predefined envelope for the preset. In this case, uh, in the beginning, of course, it's quiet. And then there's the attack, decay, sustain and release stage. Here, of course, you could use the CV input for the morph to use your uh, custom envelope. Um, if I turn the morph knob all the way to the left, that's where the envelope starts. It is at zero and we can't hear anything. Uh, I'm plugging this envelope into the CV input and triggering it with the gate from the key step. I'm guessing an ADSR envelope would be a bit nicer for this, uh, but I don't have one right here. Or even better than that is just to not use an envelope at all and just go with the drone. Uh, and you can still modulate this guy with, let's say, an
yeah, I guess uh, that's about it. Of course, you can also modulate the preset selection from for some really weird stuff. Let's hear what that sounds like. So I promised you in the beginning that I would uh, show you some patches so you can get a feel for what you can do with the DX7 models on the plats. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I hope you found this interesting and thank you a lot for watching.